What is up, Cine Pals? Welcome back. I'm Ashara Cook, joined by Steph Sabra. Hello. And we're carrying on with Daredevil Season 3. This time we're on Episode 9, Revelations. What can top the revelation that just happened in freaking Episode 8? My God. Oh my gosh. Like... <laughs> You guys, his mom? What? It's a mind-blowing moment. I feel like I like, am pretty good at being picking up on the cues, and you asked me, did you see that coming? And I had to answer, honestly, no. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I just was so focused on her being a nun. Yeah. You're like, nuns don't do that. They don't do that. They have lives before. God. That's that's uh, all a possibility. But anyway, <laughs> we'll find out what other revelations are going to rock our world in this episode. So you guys, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Click the bell icon on all notifications and upvote this video if you're having a good time. And if you want to watch the entire episodes along with us without any cuts or interruptions, you can do that by joining our Patreon, patreon.com slash or by becoming a member right here on the channel. All right, without any further ado, let's get into this. Did you know, Father? Matthew, what are you doing here? Did you know <gasps> she was my mother? He can hear, that's right, he can hear. I couldn't tell you, even when I wanted to. Don't hide behind your collar. Father. Wait, Dang. you're a priest? Take your money and go. <laughs> oh my God, this is so awkward. You saw me struggling and you chose to hide the one thing that could have changed everything for me. It wasn't his to tell. Or to comfort me when my father was murdered and I thought that I was alone in this world. You were never alone. Yes, I was. Damn. Oof. <laughs> A flashback episode. Hey. <clears throat> me? Yeah. You, you get your hand up here. Come on, it's only gonna take me 60 seconds to put this asshole. Three minutes stops. Okay, now is a good time to leave. <laughs> what do you need me to do? Nothing much. It's gonna give me some water, you know, maybe wipe off my face like that. <laughs> Come on, I only got a minute. Oh. Looks like she's got some pretty severe postpartum, maybe. Yeah. Thank you. What is wrong with you? Maggie. Did he call them, maybe? You know, when I heard Maggie call me her son, my first thought was how stupid I'd been. That it had been right in front of me for so long. And then I remembered that it had been in front of you for even longer. Now it seems like all of those conversations were just a goddamn lie. Shame on you. Ooh. <sighs> See, even a man of God is fallible. We couldn't do this at the office. We had to come all the way out here. Once I explain everything to you in the SAC, you'll understand, sir. Sorry about this, boss. Come in, guys. Oh, okay. Interview with Special Agent Rahul Nadim and Special Agent in Charge Tammy Halley. Conducted by Supervisory Special Agent Wynn, FBI, Office of Professional Responsibility. Wilson Fisk is currently engaged in a criminal conspiracy and has manipulated the Bureau into becoming his unwilling accomplice. I also have reason to believe that Fisk has corrupted an agent on his detail. Who? Dex. I think Poindexter may have perpetrated the attack at the Bulletin. You know, what the hell are you talking about? Why would you think that? Because while I was pursuing those suspicions yesterday, Dex sh shot me. Jesus Christ. Does she, she knows. Oh. I don't know. Ray, I'm sorry, but I'm placing you on administrative leave effective immediately. I understand. Does he know? Is she bad? But if they take him off the detail, then Fisk will be onto it. They should act as if everything is normal. Right. First, we call you an ambulance. <gasps> oh no! Ray, put down the gun, please. You 
bring this into my house. What? Whoa. Your prints, your weapon, the recording. Do I need to explain to you what this means? <sighs> you get this? Yeah, boss. Damn. I understand. I'm not your boss anymore, Wilson Fisk is. Oh my god. Holy crap. I was thinking as well, like when they walked in and all the plastic was there, I was like, right, oh, that's right. kind of reminiscent Same. of what we've seen. And no, then, I, yeah, yeah. I was like, is there going to be like, like, did she just kill someone or like what? Like, yeah. And then I was like, no, it's a remodel. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, it's fine. I, was, it's I fine, thought it right? maybe like it was a cheaper set design or something. Like, yeah. you know? Wow. You don't have to run. Hiding is an option. I'm not so sure it is, Willie. Not after what I said to Fisk. Mm, yeah. Right after I tell Matt I completely betrayed him. He didn't betray him. Fisk knows that Matt is Daredevil because of me. No, he already knew. You didn't say anything. The way he looked at me. He knows. No, I'm foggy. Please, take it. That's not gonna get you very far. Yeah, she needs like a whole new job. What is it, Paul? Matthew knows. Sister Maggie, oh. that's so tough. Seems like she had really, really bad postpartum depression. Yeah, but I understand his anger. Oh my god, yeah, yeah. I'm like completely on his side on this one. That's like, he didn't ask to get brought into this world. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. You have a visitor from work. Oh no. Is it Dex? My hands think not it is? big enough. I'm sure it is. Yep. Just and just snap your wrist when you release it. And that makes it curve? Like crazy. There he is. Morning, Ray. Ooh. Go get ready for school, Sammy. Thanks, Mr. Point Dexter. Yeah, call me Dex. Dad and me go way back. Uh, let's take this outside. The family doesn't need to be involved. You convinced me that you have my back. Fisk wants you alive. What does he want from me, Dex? Your friend? The one you brought to my home. I don't know who he is or where he is. Yeah, you do. But it can wait. Now let's go. We're spending the day together, partner. It smells Ooh. delicious. It's like the wifey's intuition should be kicking in. Mrs. Wapsle stopped me in the produce aisle. At first I didn't believe her, but then she showed me a clip on her iPhone. You are a natural. Because when you get beyond the cold facts and- Clearly we've got to work on your closing, but- <laughs> <laughs> Has Blake Tower responded? Complete radio silence. Probably because you've successfully branded him as the pro fist candidate and anything he says will only make it worse. Wow. If you play this right... I could actually win. Ooh. Fisk is doing something. Specifics, Ray. I don't know what, but when I do, I'll call you. It's done. Nice work, partner. I wonder if he could hear anything weird through the phone, though. I'm sorry to bother you. They told me I could find you here. He's gone. I don't know where. Matter of life and death, do you have any idea when he'll be back? He won't be. I don't understand. What, why? Why not? He learned the truth that I'm his mother. Mm. When you find him, he'll need a friend. That's just it. See, I can't really stick around. Fisk knows about Matt. I just, I just wanted to warn him before I, before I run. Matt's not the only one that Fisk wants dead. I can help you. The church has been helping people hide for 2,000 years. <sighs> hide here. Give me a day to make a few calls, and you'll have shelter halfway around the world by the end of the week. Damn, what a complicated situation. Yeah. 
Theo, you gotta see this movie your brother's in. Let me fix you a plate, sweetie. Come here. Hold on, Ma. I need a couple minutes with Foggy. Oh, what's going on? All that stuff you said about Fisk on the video, you gotta take it back. What are you talking about? You have to make a different video, man. Issue a statement or whatever. Say you were drunk. Listen to me. You need to apologize. What did he do? About a year ago, some of our suppliers stopped taking our orders. Just stopped. No reason I could understand. Oh, God. We couldn't change their minds for love or money. After a few months, the shop was in a tight spot financially, right? We didn't have the collateral to get a loan. Oh, my God. Why didn't you come to me? I could have helped. I didn't have to because of what happened next. Out of the blue, I get this call from a bank I never heard of offering to help us out. Red Lion Bank. Oh, shit. So the loan officer there, he coaches me on how to move the numbers around. And bam, the loan comes through without a hitch. I don't give it another thought. Life goes on. I mean, and the old suppliers came back. Yeah, they did. Now you mention it. And then someone came to talk to you. This afternoon. Yeah, this old English dude comes to see me. Yep. He said, unless I could convince you to walk back everything you said about Fisk, he'd have redline called alone. That application, if anyone looks too carefully at it. You're going to jail. Not just me. Mom and Dad signed it too. Oh, God. Damn Fisk. Another roundup, gentlemen. And we're going to hit them fast and hard. Kingpin wants this one to make a point. Oh, is she working in the computers downstairs? Was she the girl? No, oh, okay. no. Dang. John Hammer, you're coming with us. It's not like he can just quit either, because they would just hurt his family. Oh my god. God, he just wants to beat up everyone. Yeah. So what was it? Money? Or what? You frame me for another murder? Keep your head forward. There's no mics in here, but you know they're watching. You murdered when? How do you live with that? I killed him to save your life. I didn't tell you to break into Dex's apartment. I would have stopped you and you wouldn't be here. Oh, she's known all along. We make this happen, we can find a way to end it. There's no way out, Ray. This had you marked for more than a year. That's why she wanted to... What do you mean, had me marked? Oh. Why do you think your sister-in-law lost health coverage? He made you desperate for this job, and you did everything you could to get him this penthouse, get him everything he asked for. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You could have gone to Homeland Security or the NYPD, not take me down with you, not murder an agent. You make a report, you get your family somewhere safe, Jesus. It's not an option with Fisk. They used to have two children, right? They made it look like a hit and run. <gasps> I got a divorce. Maybe that keeps him a little safer. But there's still Ali, so... Think about Seema and Sammy. Oh my god! Wow. He killed her kid? Yeah. Fisk has left the hotel. How is that possible? I don't think Dex was the only FBI agent he turned, but he's taken Fisk to meet with other crime bosses. I'm texting you the address. Thank you, Nadim. Are you listening for a heartbeat? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it works over the phone. That guy, he in your corner. Not anymore. It doesn't matter. It's been a long time since you used Muay Thai ropes, Maddie. That guy in my suit kicked my ass. I can't beat him from a distance. I gotta draw him in close. Yeah. Your mother didn't only leave you, she left me too. You're looking for sympathy because that's not happening. She Ooh. You put on that mask because it lets you feel all right with who you really are. It lets you hurt people. It makes you feel like it's for something important, something, something good, good, maybe, maybe even, even for, for God. God. But that ain't the truth. You were born from nothing. You remain nothing. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, holy smokes. Uh, woo. What's the play here, Maddie? Arrest me or I'm leaving. Stay where you are. You have a right to counsel. That's some bullshit. 
What are you waiting for? I don't know when it happens. Yeah. You know something about what's going on? Well, they pick us up all quiet, like. No press, no perp walk. Take us here instead of downtown. The feds want something. She's smart, but also you're just there and you're all gonna die. This? What the hell is this? It's an opportunity, Mr. Starr. What are you gonna do? I've brought you here to offer you my protection from investigations and prosecutions by the federal government. 20% Christ's sake. of everything. You want us to confess to something that buys you another month in that hotel suite you conned yourself into. You can count me out. Oh, are you dead? Ah! Oh my God. The tax is now 25%. Oof. Oh. Nope. You're late to our appointment, Daredevil. If you tipped him, I said exactly what you told me to say. Let's go. Daredevil, see what comes out. Oh. Crouching tiger, hidden daredevil. Yeah. Oh, he had a different plan. Mm. Okay, Maddie, we're thinking about things a little different. What's he looking for is a thing. Oh, he's gonna hear the... Yeah, the, is it through that door? Or... It's in his closet, I Yeah. Think. Oh, he can feel the, what, like the electromagnetic pulses down there. Are you gonna kill me? No. Not you. Fisk? When will he be back? Minutes. Karen Page located at the Clinton Church. Keep all the NYPD units clear of that location until otherwise advised. <gasps> what does Fisk want with Karen? He wants her killed. Oh, Jesus! Oh my God, these cops are- Jesus! Oh my God. Oh no! <gasps> Another super heavy episode. So crazy. Oh my gosh. This season. So many revelations. I know. Uh, that's the title. Okay, anyway. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but like there really were. I was like, how much more can you do? Like you already told us that uh, Sister Baggy is his mom. Right. And then they're like, oh, you, you thought that was a revelation? Hold my beer. The entire feds are in on Fist. They yeah. Call him Kingpin. He's their boss. Yeah. He has something on all of them. Killed people's children. Took cancer patients off healthcare. Yeah. And now has this woman locked in this dungeon with wearing his tag. Ta yeah. yeah. Who is she? I don't know. But she's obviously scared for her life. Yeah. He's got something on everyone. And, and that's what's so terrifying about him is just how long he's been planning this. Like, I imagine he was sitting in his jail cell, staring at that white wall, just going, all right, what am I going to do? How do I play this? And it really was the, the long game. And now he's back. And bigger and better and stronger than he the ever Punisher. was. We need Frank Castle in here uh, to just sweep it. Yeah. <laughs> Do a sweep. But can't, it's um, what sucks is that Karen thinks she outed Matt. Fisk knew Matt was Daredevil before. Yeah, she, all along. Yeah. yeah, he knew. He knew since he came into the the prison. This prison. Yeah, so he's known for a while. But poor Karen thinks that she's given it all away. 
and she's in a bad, bad situation. I love that scene that they did with Nadim, where he was in the elevator with his boss, mm -hmm. and like the slow push into his face as the realization dawned on him that he had been played this entire For time. For a year. Yeah, like that was wild. For a year. And, and it's like, it's crazy because you feel for these dirty cops. Yeah. Because they're not in their, like, have their whole life at risk. Yeah. Like, her kid has already died. She had to divorce her husband. Yeah. Because she's like, I can't get out of this myself. Exactly. And so if you extrapolate that and then, like, put that on everyone else in the room there. I can't even imagine what he's done to everyone else. Yeah. It's just, oh my God, he's so gross. But like as a villain, just amazing. And then all that stuff with Sister Maggie, I absolutely loved. I don't know the actress's name. I haven't looked it yeah, up. Yeah, she's great. So good. So good. I just love the way that she plays it because she breaks me by being so strong, you know, like, because everything is internalized with her. And she's telling this story about how, you know, she didn't know it was postpartum. She abandoned her son, not once, but multiple times. And like, now she just wants to, to help him. Yeah, she's very complicated, which I, hats off to the writers, no one no member of this cast is one dimensional yeah as a character and especially her like i really sympathize and love the idea that they're playing with of postpartum depression which mm -hmm. is seriously real and a lot of women suffer from it yeah and it makes you like feel these things about your own child you would never feel yeah and so it's like i think that's a really smart plot device of why you would like because if you are a harm to the child's life it is best that you take time to heal yeah but like i said it's what's unforgivable is the amount of time that she let on yeah to not tell him that and i just think that that's not right or fair do i think it's unforgivable no yeah but do i think it like will take serious work yeah yeah and it's like what she did was wrong like in the years that's what was wrong not the initial yeah thing, but like making the decision daily is what's wrong sure yeah and it like uh, maybe it's because i am not the bravest person Person in the room like um, I I know that about myself and so I think when I look at her like I can understand that her actions are seriously wrong but can I also understand the person who's like making up a story about how it might be better off that her child doesn't know and making up excuses and and trying to put it off for another day and this that and the other I get it but it's not good. yeah I can empathize <laughs> yeah. with it I, but like damn yeah so heavy so so heavy and so so well done so well done i like can't wait to watch the next episode because i'm like what the heck is gonna happen yeah now karen and the mom are at danger yes yeah Ugh, you guys, this is too much. We have to move on to the next episode because yeah, we, we need to, to know. So uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe. Click the bell icon, all notifications, and upload this video if you are having fun. Woo! All right, let's move on to the next one. I'm Achara Cook. This is Steph Sarah. Ciao!